Hi, my name is Ashley and I'm a medical assistant here at SIU. The video you're about to see shows a typical office visit for a patient with chronic pain. When you are being cared for by your doctor, you may see or talk to several different healthcare providers during your office visits. These healthcare providers include nurses, resident physicians, students in the School of Medicine and Pharmacy, and other staff that are important in maintaining your health care. Dr. Verma and Dr. Bendre are going to see a patient today to talk to him about his chronic pain. Carefully observe the conversation so you will know what types of questions to ask your doctor about your pain. We hope you find this video both educational and informative. We hope you use this as a starting point for your conversations with your doctor in managing your chronic pain. Video both educational. Dr. Bendre, today we are going to see Mr. Jones who is experiencing a lot of pain. We must listen carefully to Mr. Jones as he describes his pain. Our patients must feel comfortable describing their pain to us because they are the only ones who know what they feel. There is not one test that you can order which will help you identify the characteristics of their pain or the intensity of their pain. So what Mr. Jones tells us is very, very important. Once Mr. Jones, fin Jones finishes telling us the story, We'll ask him a few more questions to understand his pain better. Then we'll work together with him to manage his pain. Can you tell me more about your pain? Yeah, um, I've been a mechanic for years, mm -hmm. um, fixed cars for a long time, and um, you know, so I bend and I move around and twist a lot, and so I've had pain in my back for for years and years. But it seems like the last six months it's been a lot worse. How would you describe your pain? Well, it, it's, you know, it's just there most of the time, but again, if I bend or move around, I feel that shooting up that, that really is bad. Have you noticed that there might be certain times of the day when your pain gets worse? Um, you know, it, it seems like it's pretty much there all day, but, you know, it gets worse, like, well, sometimes I have trouble sleeping because it's so bad before I go to bed. That sounds pretty difficult to manage. What have you tried to relieve your pain till now? Well, the only thing that really works is if I lay flat and I just rest for a while, it'll feel better. But as soon as I get up and twist around or move, it comes right back and hurts again. If you were to rate your pain on a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your pain? For example, 1 is barely any pain and 10 is the worst pain you ever had. What would you say your pain is at? Well, I would say during during the day, kind of my usual pain, it's it's probably three or four. Mm -hmm. But when I do that move or twist and it shoots up my it's like eight and it's just it's a killer. You know, I, I used to like to come home from work and, and even though I'm a mechanic all day, I'd like to restore cars at night. But after working and I just can't twist and bend and do that kind of stuff anymore. And uh, also, you know, I'd I'd really like to go out and play golf on the weekends with my buddies. But I just can't. I mean, if I would try to twist or turn or something, it would just be too painful. Um, so those are the things I've really noticed. I see. Dr. Painter, Mr. Jones has given us a lot of information about his pain. Would you please summarize that for us? Sure. So you have had pain in your back for years, and it has gotten worse over the last six months. You would uh, you rate the pain as three to four on everyday basis, but at, it, at its worst, it goes up to 8. You, you rest and you avoid doing activities like golfing and you also cut back on your hobbies like restoring, your car, restoring cars because of the pain. Did I miss anything? Well, well like I did say earlier, I, sometimes it's really bad um, at, at the evening and I can't fall asleep. And, uh, you know, my wife doesn't like me when I don't get any sleep and, and it makes work really challenging. Let's see what we can do for you, Mr. Jones. What questions do you have so far? Well, can you guys cure me? For most individuals, curing pain is not likely. Our goal is to get your pain down to a level so that we can improve how you feel and get you to a point where you can enjoy your hobbies again, like playing golf and working on cars. We hope that your overall health and well-being will improve. You might be able to sleep better and get more rest, and hopefully that will improve your relationship, like with your wife. What you have is a condition called chronic pain. 
which is pain that has been going on for three to six months or more. This is very different from acute pain which lasts for a short time, the kind that you get after broken bones, burns or cuts. In your case, the acute pain has changed over into the chronic pain. Most common types of chronic pain are the ones that we get, say like back aches, headaches, neck pain, and from an injury that never heals and causes chronic pain after that. It is one of the most costly healthcare problems. To talk numbers, it affects more Americans than heart disease, cancer, and diabetes combined. Chronic pain usually takes a huge physical and mental toll on people. And as you know from your experience, it can affect your participation in your hobbies, as well as affect your relationships with your friends and family. The next step for us is to talk about what we can uh, suggest you to manage your pain better. I want you to keep in mind, because there is no cure for chronic pain, whatever we do to manage your pain will take time. Okay, we'll be back in a few minutes. We'll just step outside. So tell me, what did you learn about chronic pain? Like we talked about, chronic pain affects millions of people all over the world. It can be a very expensive problem because it affects people's ability to work and be productive. Plus, sometimes the, first, the best first step is to try to manage the problem rather than order lots of expensive and unnecessary tests. Great point. In the end, everything we do is in the best interest of our patients. Alright, now let's talk specifically about Mr. Jones and what we would recommend for him.